toy hauler fans, Susan Dillman Stills here from Mount Comfort RV to talk to you about a great product. It's going to be Stealth's Nomad Toy Hauler Trailer. This is a great bumper pull product. We're going to take a look first at my littlest one. It's going to be the 18 FK FK for front kitchen. Now here's the cool thing about this product. What you do is you pick your floor plan and then you pick your garage length so that if you like a particular floor plan you can have the garage you want. There's a whole lot of customizable things about this Nomad trailer. In fact, you want to, let me reach in my pocket here, you want this to match your truck? Look at all of these colors. Gunmetal, whites, two reds. Um, great way to really match this up with your truck. It's gonna look awesome. Understand though, this is more of a cargo trailer than a camping trailer. It's gonna be a little bit rugged, which means you can trick it out just the way you want. In fact, I had a couple of customers whose kids were racers and they were gonna put all of their racing posters and their ribbons and awards on the wall. So just know there's a lot of potential here. So we're looking at this great Arctic white right here with the black trim, looks super sharp, super clean. Um, it's on a double axle here. And one of the great things about these stealth trailers is, well, while they do have a pretty heavy dry weight, they usually have just about the same dry weight in, in cargo carrying capacity. So you can really put some heavy stuff in here. I've got a lot of customers who like to haul cars um, around to shows and so forth, but you can get your motorcycles, a lot of other stuff in there and still have a great time camping because you're gonna have quality electric, electrical work and quality plumbing work, something that you can rely on because it's got the RVIA seal of, seal of approval. So we had a really heavy duty ramp door here with these great steel cables. You've got your little extra ramp fold down here to make the transition nice. You can see it's not a very steep ramp door and we have a little bit of a beaver tail as we walk in here. Now this seat, this uh, uh, Flexible track, I should say, it's not really, the track itself is not flexible, but it's gonna allow you to do some tie downs wherever you want. This is an option that you can get from Stealth. It's not their standard. You do have um, really heavy duty D-rings uh, located, they're, they're attached to the, the frame of the trailer. So again, you're not gonna have to worry about it getting away from you. No happy jack system in this. That Again, that's another option that you can get from Stealth. Right now we're looking at a couple of really kind of auto, um, looking couches here that fold flat up against the wall. These are pretty comfortable. You can fold them flat out and make them a couple of cots or you can keep everything up against the wall and put your own uh, air mattress on the floor. It's a fabulous way to kind of again customize this. And we brought this one in with an air conditioner. Again, that is an option. It does have a heater. Um, you've also got a great little kitchen here. And I love the finish they've got on these cabinets. They look like toolboxes. But more importantly, these are so easy to clean that that, that glossy finish is just going to wipe up. Got a nice little microwave up here. Of course, you need to be a little tall to get that food out, but hey. Um, two burner cooktop. Got USB chargers and a 110 outlet right here. Run your coffee machine or your toaster or your air fryer. Great big, huge barrel sink here with the um, industrial looks uh, pull down spray faucet. Over here, we've got a little refrigerator. Let me see if I can figure out every one of them opens just a little bit differently. So this area right here is just a little bit of a freezer. So you can probably get a box of Totina's pizza rolls in there if I could get it open. Dislocate it. Well, it does open, trust me. <laughs> and then under here, just a little bit more storage and of course, access to your plumbing. And you can see we're on this great rubberized non-stick floor, which is super easy to sweep out and to kind of mop out quickly. And I know that I've had people tell me that they, they hose it out. I don't know that I want that much water in my trailer, but you certainly can do a great job of cleaning this up. Then we've got a nice human sized shower in here. I'm going to go ahead and climb in it just to demonstrate how much room we've got. I'm only about 5'4", but you can see I can't even quite reach the, uh, the screen of the, uh, the vent over the shower. So tons of room for you tall guys. It's got this nice little pull out shower. So you're talking somewhere in the 40s to 50s um, gallon wise for your fresh water tank. So enough that you can kind of spray down and get a quick shower, especially when you're boondocking. Now we don't necessarily have generator prep in here, but of course you can throw a freestanding generator in and hook everything up and totally boondock with this as you're probably going to be doing if you're out there having fun. Now I'm going to move down the way a little bit to talk about another one of their floor plans. 
this being a short one this is a really neat floor plan and now we're going to see the happy jack so excuse me the happy jack bed this is a queen bed and it's motorized so this oh we can go up and all the way out of the way there is a screen door by, by the way it's right here this pulls down it's a whole screen wall so we can really kind of create a party room out of this when our toys are out this is one of the vents that you have to have if you're going to be hauling gasoline powered vehicles in here this is the other one on the opposite side so we get some good air moving through here so it doesn't smell like gas cans the entire time we brought this uh, unit in with a nice television but that's not the coolest feature about this this unit has its own private bedroom back in here I've got a queen bed and this is a nice way for if somebody wants to kind of kick off early and, and get to bed and everybody else is still having a little bit of party time out there there's some privacy back here of course your sink van your vanity and sink are located here you do have a medicine cabinet behind that mirror again just a little bit more storage there's that great toolbox look cabinet again and then we've got the same thing right here we've got storage almost ceiling to floor Tony I'm gonna step around and let you look in there because it's really clever storage not bad so some place to hang something you have a little bit more storage down here and then another cabinet up above great place to stick some shoes and then you have a little bit of storage over top and then a place you could actually set a little stack of totes if you needed some more um, storage and in inside the bedroom or if you need a little a little nightstand again an even larger shower this one's going to be a little bit wider than the one that we were just in again I'm four excuse me five four not a super little person and I've got plenty of room in here and of course tons of headroom as we step back out here, one of the things I love is you do have the nice big RV refrigerator. Something we're not seeing as often anymore is the old LP electric refrigerator. Again, a lot of our boondockers like to have this option. Don't really want to have to run off of more batteries and an inverter. So this is the old fashioned RV uh, boondocking refrigerator. Again, it's that great kitchen that we saw in the other unit. Two burner cooktop, it's LP, so you've got LP tanks on the front. Nice big sink here. Microwave now where, where everybody can see it. And then of course some more storage, more storage here. Your wheel wells, not super obtrusive. And you can see in this one, you've got your typical tie downs, not that track that we, is the option from Stealth. Now we're gonna see the last one, our largest one. We duck under here to make sure I don't get stuck. This is going to be another front kitchen model and i love it just because it's got that great matte finish this just looks so tough this is a this is a tough rough and ready rough and ready trailer excuse me beautiful finish of course 110 outlet outside got a coaxial output for cable tv out here so you can set it up on this television mount on all of these units, I failed to mention, on all of these units, we've got a great big awning with an LED light strip up underneath. So it's a party ready trailer too. It's not just functional. Let's go ahead and step on inside. Of course, your solid step from Lippert. Love that with the independently adjustable feet. And once again, it's simplicity. Um, with a lot of opportunities for you guys to customize this trailer and have it fitted out the way you want it to be. Folks can buy um, some great RV furniture. There's a Euro recliner that moves very easily, super easy to clean, very simple. Quite frankly, there's some fabulous lawn chairs that we offer in our parts store, if I can give them a plug, that are a gravity operation and it's almost like its own little recliner. Plenty of padding, that's all you need. We brought this one in again with a great big television here. Nobody will miss you guys replaying all the cool shots and video that you made while you're out there using your toys. This particular trailer too has that sofa system, excuse me, has the happy jack bed again. So it's up and out of the way when you're not using it. Now, if you're not going to use the bed at all, it is a great place to store things. And in fact, I've had a lot of customers tell me that they like that system because it's a fabulous place to store things that they don't want a lot of other people knowing that they're having. Things like valuables, cash, and firearms if you carry them with you. 
Again, our kitchen layout is very much the same. We saw that front kitchen floor plan in the first trailer that we stepped into. Know that there's a front bath one that has a little bit larger bath, and there's one that's gonna have um, two bunks as well. But it's all about making this trailer your own. It's all about um, a really rugged, rough, reliable trailer that has a lot of opportunities for you to style it and use it the way you want to. Have more questions, need measurements, dimensions, sizes? I'm Susan Dillman-Stills here at Mount Comfort RV. Give me a call.